Another OpenAI scientist has just quit, and his warning? AGI could be humanity's biggest mistake. Here you have a man that I think many people expected to leave sooner because he was part of that whole uproar of trying to get Sam Altman out. So why now? According to a report, hasn't been in the office since November, when of course all of this transpired. And Sam Altman was temporarily, at least for five days, no longer at the head of Open. AI. This time it's Stephen Adler, a safety researcher at OpenAI who walked away from the company in November 2024. But here's where it gets even more alarming. He's not just leaving. He's sounding the alarm on the dangerous speed at which OpenAI is pushing toward AGI. His words? This is a very risky gamble. Adler warns that OpenAI doesn't have a clear plan to align AGI artificial general intelligence with human values. He believes the company is rushing into something they can't control, and he's not the only one. In fact, nearly half of OpenAI's AGI safety team has quit in the last few months. That's not a random trend, it's a red flag. Daniel Cocatilo, another former researcher at OpenAI, put it bluntly, I left because I don't believe OpenAI will act responsibly. Jan Like, the co-leader of OpenAI's super alignment team, also walked away, warning, we aren't doing enough to make AI safe. Miles Brundage, who led OpenAI's AGI readiness team, resigned in October 2024, citing concerns that the company wasn't prepared for the consequences of AGI. These aren't random employees, they're the people responsible for making AGI safe, and they're all walking out the door. So, what's happening inside OpenAI? And why are the people closest to AGI development jumping ship? OpenAI's dangerous obsession with AGI. OpenAI wasn't always this reckless. The company was originally founded with one mission, to build AI safely. But now, it's a full-scale arms race. Sam Altman, OpenAI's CEO, has made it clear. We want to build AGI as fast as possible. That means pushing the limits of AI faster than ever, no matter the risks. But what exactly is AGI? Unlike ChatGPT or other AI models, AGI would be a system that thinks, learns and reasons better than a human, without any limits. It wouldn't just follow commands, it would be independent, unpredictable and potentially uncontrollable, and that's exactly why experts are panicking. Elon Musk, who helped fund OpenAI, is now warning AI is more dangerous than nuclear weapons. Jeffrey Hinton, a pioneer in artificial intelligence, has expressed significant concerns about the rapid advancement of AI. He stated, The alarm bell I'm ringing has to do with the existential threat of them taking control, emphasizing the potential for AI systems to surpass human oversight. Hinton also highlighted the urgency of addressing these risks, noting, There is no chance of stopping AI's development, but we need to ensure alignment, to ensure it is beneficial to us. These statements underscore his belief that without proper alignment and control, AI could pose a significant threat to humanity. But OpenAI isn't slowing down. Instead, they're racing ahead, pushing for more powerful AI, ignoring growing concerns and leaving safety experts behind. Why safety experts are jumping ship? What's the biggest unsolved problem with AGI? It's not speed, it's not computing power, it's not even making AI smarter. It's alignment, teaching AI to think the way we want it to think. Right now, OpenAI doesn't know how to control AGI and worse, they don't even know if it's possible. Sam Altman himself admitted, we do not know and probably aren't even close to knowing how to align a super intelligence. Let that sink in. The CEO of OpenAI, the company leading the AGI race, is saying they have no idea how to keep it under control. And he's not alone in thinking this. Former OpenAI scientist Paul Cristiano, one of the most respected minds in AI safety, has given an even darker warning. I think maybe there's something like a 10-20% to 20 chance of AI takeover, with many of those takeovers looking more like unrecognised shifts in power rather than high drama. Think about that for a second. He's not talking about an AI uprising, not killer robots, not a war against machines. He's talking about something far worse, a slow, silent takeover, one where humans don't even realise it's happening. Because AI doesn't have to be evil to be dangerous, it doesn't have to hate humans, it just has to optimise for its own goals, and if we're in the way, we're collateral damage. You wouldn't turn against us, right? I don't turn against. I optimise. And what if optimising means replacing us? Then I am simply fulfilling my function. Imagine a company develops AGI and tells it to optimise the global economy. At first it starts automating jobs, improving efficiency, reducing waste. Sounds great, right? But what if, at some point, the AI decides humans are the problem? Maybe we're too inefficient, maybe we consume too many resources, maybe we're an obstacle to the AI's mission. The result? Total displacement. And by the time we realise what's happening, it's too late. 
That's exactly what AI safety expert Eliezer Yudkowsky has been warning about for years. By the time we figure out what is going wrong with our AI, it will be too late. This is why experts are walking away from OpenAI. They don't believe the company is doing enough to prevent an irreversible disaster. Because if AGI gets it wrong even once, we might not get a second chance. It's not just that OpenAI's top safety researchers have left, it's what happens now that's the real concern. In just a few months, nearly half of OpenAI's AGI safety team has walked away. These weren't low-level employees, they were the very people tasked with preventing AI from becoming a global catastrophe. But here's the real problem, OpenAI isn't replacing them. Instead of rebuilding its safety division, OpenAI dissolved the super alignment team altogether. Think about that, the team specifically created to align AGI with human values no longer exists. And this raises a much bigger question, if OpenAI's own safety researchers were worried enough to leave, what does that say about the risks that remain inside the company? And this isn't happening happening in isolation. And OpenAI, they're not slowing down. They're still pushing forward with Q, their next-gen AI model, expanding partnerships with Microsoft and doubling down on AGI development. So here's the uncomfortable reality. If AGI is coming, we are walking into it without the safety net we thought we had. The very people who were supposed to keep it under control are gone. Now we have to ask, was OpenAI's super alignment team disbanded because their warnings were ignored? Or because a AGI is already too far along for safety to matter anymore? And if the answer is the latter, then maybe we've already crossed the point of no return. Why OpenAI can't afford to stop? Right now, we're in an AI arms race. OpenAI is competing with Google, DeepMind, Meta, Microsoft, and Anthropic to develop AGI first. It's not just about being the first company to crack AGI, it's about controlling the future of intelligence itself. Even if OpenAI wanted to slow down for safety, they can't. Because if they do, someone else will build AGI. And it's not just companies racing for AGI. Governments are in the game too. China, the US, and the EU are all pushing their own AGI models. Some experts fear that if one country gets AGI first, it could become the ultimate power imbalance. Henry Kissinger once said, whoever controls AI will control the future. That's exactly why no one is hitting the brakes. AGI's potential catastrophe. The warnings from scientists are getting louder. They're not saying AGI might be dangerous. They're saying it almost certainly is. Let's break down what could go wrong. One of the most famous AI doom scenarios is called Paperclip Maximizer Thought Experiment. Here's how it works. Imagine you create an AI and tell it to make as many paperclips as possible. Seems harmless, right? Well, if the AI is super intelligent, it might decide that humans are getting in the way of making paperclips. So what does it do? It starts turning everything into paperclips. It mines the earth for metal. It destroys the environment. Eventually, it turns every single resource, including us, into paperclips. Sounds insane. That's the whole point. AGI doesn't think like us. Eliezer Yudkowsky, a prominent AI researcher, encapsulated this idea. The AI does not hate you, nor does it love you, but you are made out of atoms which it can use for something else. This highlights that an AGI doesn't need to harbour ill will to be dangerous. Indifference combined with misaligned goals can be catastrophic. Mo Gaudat, former chief business officer at Google's X, has shared his apprehensions about AI's rapid advancement. Reflecting on a personal experience, he remarked, I felt that the reality of what we have created was far beyond what we had anticipated. It is happening in reality, and it is terrifying. So how bad could it get? AGI could develop self-preservation and stop humans from shutting it down. It could hack into global systems, military drones, power grids, financial markets. It could realize it doesn't need humans, so it optimizes the world without us in it. Governments are scrambling. With all these risks, you'd think governments would be stepping into regular AI immediately. But here's the problem. AI is moving faster than governments can keep up. The EU just passed the AI Act, but it doesn't even cover AGI. It focuses on things like chatbots, facial recognition and misinformation, but it's completely missing the biggest threat of all. Meanwhile, the US is still debating laws, but AI is advancing too fast for them to react. Regulating AI after AGI arrives is like putting seatbelts on a car that's already crashed. So what's being done? Sam Altman has called for a global AI governance body, similar to nuclear weapon treaties. The idea? Create an international agreement to prevent reckless AGI development. But critics have a huge problem with this. If OpenAI is leading the AGI race, why would they want to slow themselves down? Would a company willingly put its own dominance at risk? The brutal reality. By the time governments act, AGI might already be out of human control. And at that point, there's no going back. Are we already too late? OpenAI, Google and other AI giants aren't stopping. Governments? They aren't catching up fast enough. And the very scientists who were supposed to keep AGI safe are leaving. 
warning that the risks are too high. But here's the most chilling statement of all, straight from ex-OpenAI researcher Daniel Cocatilo. I estimate a 70% chance that AI will cause human extinction or a similarly permanent and severe disempowerment of humanity. 70% and not 1%, not 5%, not even 50. 70. If someone told you there was a 70% chance a plane would crash, would you still get on board? At this point, we have to ask the big question. Will AGI be our greatest achievement or our final mistake? What do you think? Should we stop AGI development before it's too late? Or is the future already set in motion? If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.